Hey, I'm Brian Skeel. I'm a producer. I'm an artist with the band Chroma Cloud, and I'm so stoked to present the Cubase Selected Channel Grid now available for Metagrid Pro. This grid features so much two-way functionality between it and Cubase and makes so many aspects of music production easier, more intuitive, and I find a lot of fun. I'm moving away from the keyboard and mouse so much more, and I'm interacting with my iPad, which is directly controlling so many functions inside Cubase. The grid itself provides a ton of information about the currently selected track in Cubase. It's also going to update the information as it is moving through the Cubase session onto your iPad at the same time. So at the top left, we've got the name of the channel and lots of different states about that channel that we can modify. We can turn on and off the input monitoring. We can have it set to arm recording. We can turn off the automation states, whether it's in read or write or neither. We can solo this track. We can mute it. And we have so many more things available to us. We can adjust the volume and that is as we see on the screen, adjusting the volume of this track in real time. We can also do the same thing with panning. There's even a couple of gesture pads featured on this grid that allow you to do even more things with Cubase on the fly. So for example, I can swipe right and the pan of this channel will go all the way to the right. Same thing with the left, or I can just double tap it and reset it to center. I can do the same thing with my volume and say, I don't even want to hear this right now, or I want to start at the very, very minimum and swipe down. The volume of the track is going to go all the way down. I can also reset it to Unity by swiping up. I can also tap this gesture pad and it will bring up the channel settings and I can tap it again, make it go away. If I'm on an instrument channel, I can tap it with two fingers and the instrument itself will pop up and I can do even more things with that. I can tap it again with two fingers and make it go away. Down here at the bottom, we have a very powerful transport center. We can do things like play the track. We can uh, set it to record. We can tell it to cycle on or off. We can turn on and off the metronome. There's also buttons for grabbing the channel settings and the instrument settings. And then the gesture pad at the bottom has even more functionality. We can put that in move mode and any selected event, we can move left or right. We can put it back in grid mode and then we can actually navigate around the session itself. Lots of cool things that go over in that gesture pad. But one of my my favorite features about this selected channel grid is the ability to look at the inserts and sends. So if we select a track that has some inserts and sends, that will pop up here automatically. So not only do we have information about the name of the track, but we also have the names of the sends that it's going to. We can turn those on and off. We can adjust the send level. And one of the coolest things about this is we can put this into write mode, play the track, and adjust on the fly. Stop the track, play it, and we can see that automation moving on the iPad and in Cubase at the same time. Same thing with the inserts. We now have functionality that is going to display the names of each of these inserts for the first eight in our channel. We can bypass them on and off. We can open each of these inserts and the quick controls that are already assigned to that plugin are going to pop up here on the right. And again, we can put this in write mode, play the track, and we can do all kinds of interesting things with the iPad so we never have to leave it and go to our mouse. Play Play it back and we see all of these parameters change in real time. We've also got a couple of user buttons that come blank so that you can create your own controls and macros there in this grid. So in the next few videos, we're going to go over each of these objects and their functionality in great detail. Mm -hmm.